Well, for us, we're used to seeing your face here on Forest Player, but with you today, we've got a very special guest. Who is he? Well, uh, I've been follow uh, Forest from, let's say, from the time we bought the club. And of course, uh, my brother Abdelaziz, he's uh, also uh, the owner of Nottingham Forest too, so uh, maybe this is the first time we were, we were together, the same match together. I think I, I missed maybe one game and he was there. But we didn't, this is the first time for us to be together. Uh, but we are actually in touch on a daily basis, talking about Forest and about all the game and about the situation for the club. And uh, as you know now, we are together again. How often do you speak to Fawaz about events going on here at Forest? Well, we communicate almost on a daily basis sometimes, you know, sometimes every once or twice a week of the progress of the club. Fawaz has done a very good job since he's taken over, of course. Uh, there is a lot to be done, but uh, the progress is, is, is quite massive. Now, we have heard from Fawaz's wife that he is quite difficult to keep calm at times, especially when it comes to football. Do you find that the same as his brother? No, I think he's calmed down a bit over the years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you would imagine someone to feel this way. I mean, working so hard, you know, day and night, following the club, uh, you know, he must express his feelings somehow. But um, I think the club has, has, has developed quite a lot since uh, Fawaz has taken over. And uh, we just need some patience. I think we've done quite well. I'm very happy with, uh, with the way things have been going. Fawaz, how does Abdulaziz help you? Well, oh, I, I told you, is in daily basis we speak regarding the club, uh, regarding the players, regarding the, the manager, everything, what's going on in the club. And as you know, we are, we are on, into this now more than three years. And as I think my brother mentioned from the time we bought the club, it's not an easy job to take Forest from the first year or second year or third year to the Premier League. It's, uh, it's going to be tough a bit, but we are, I mean, you know, about what's happening and the situation for the injuries and this, what's happening in the club, you know. We faced this three, four injury, a very important inj uh, player we miss. And, uh, but this is, I don't want to put this as, as an excuse or something. We're going to try our best. Uh, as you know, we are still in the plan. We are still, uh, maybe, maybe we need two years, something like this, one year, we will try our best. We want to push hard from the next season and I hope that we can do something this season, but uh, it's not an issue. We will try uh, maybe for next season too. Uh, uh, for me and my brother, if you ask me, he is more than me, tense, and he is more than me. <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Let's well, go and just see him. What you have. <laughs> Let's see, I'll try to avoid some of the games. <laughs> no, no, I think, you know, you know, you would imagine that to happen, but um, I'm very optimistic, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with the way things have been going. Um, the, uh, we've had some good, uh, good, good players joining the club. I think as you've both said today, you know, the focus remains on this season, but also we've recently announced our season tickets for our 150th anniversary year. So for us, how much are you looking forward to being involved in that? Well, you know, I'm really happy for that to be to be here in the city ground for this event and uh, maybe we are going to try to do something in, during the summer and the, for the pre-season uh, to celebrate that 150 years anniversary for this big club and uh, hopefully we will do something which is everybody would like you know and we are trying you know to to communicate with Hamburg with Malmo to communicate to to make, to make a small tournament but nothing happened yet but we are on that if not we, we might bring a club to play against us during the pre-season for the 150 anniversary years for for Nottingham finally Abdulaziz what does it mean to you to be here on a match day the atmosphere seeing the supporters of a club that you own and have so much invested in well it means a lot I'm very happy to be here you know with all the fans and everyone um, I don't know if you have realized because I spend most of the times back home for was more like uh, you know uh, has more presence here in the UK following the club popularity has increased uh, quite a lot especially in the Middle East I mean Kuwait uh, mainly and um, it's really nice to see the you know the you know the the, the, uh, the club full of, of fans and people are happy and uh, you know 
like I said, I mean, we, we are we are working hard. Hopefully we should have some positive result. I'm very optimistic.